Hi students, welcome to News Analysis by SPR. Today we are going to discuss about one of the controversial topic called marital rape. Okay, what is it and few important points regarding that I will explain then we can go into the detailed article what is regarding that. Okay, in Indian uh, culture itself, a person will get married to a woman. Okay, here marriage will happen. After marriage, they used to have an intercourse, sexual intercourse, but it is to the will of women or not that matters. So here marital rape means normal you know, way. You remember one thing, rape means what? Without the concern, which means without the concern, if someone uh, exploits some sexually, then it is considered as the rape. But here after marriage, male has a right. In India, patriarchal society, male feel that they have a right to have intercourse with the woman. So this is what here creates a problem. But here the consent of the woman is not taken into the consideration. So that will become an issue. So that is the issue over here. But here if someone after even after marriage, woman have her own right over her body and her over will. Okay. So this if without her will and with permission, someone uh, pressurizes her and also exploits her husband even a husband exploits her then it is also considered as the marital rape so here legally there are many provisions internationally nationally there are many provisions and, and also here the judgment from the high court has been a split verdict now let me explain few things related to these things okay first let me explain what is split verdict split verdict means see here this is most important Two judges are that judge one and judge two. Both the judges say contrary. He says yes and he says no. Now here the judgment states as a neutral. There is no result as per se. This is called as a split judgment when two judges panel is heading over. If there is three judges panel, there will not be a situation of split judgment because any two will be saying yes, one will be saying no, or any other will be saying one will be saying yes and other two will be saying no. So obviously here uh, some result will be provided so this is the issue the split judge uh, split verdict means you know what is that and now let me explain section 375 explains about the rape in india but this has exempted the conditions like marriage that is called marital rape so here this is the issue persistence and also historically there is a, a government act domestic violence act and misuse of that and we will discuss the issues related to the marital rape okay what are all the cases that has been exempted in the 375 for the marital rape and next we will be discussing our argument of criminalizing see marital rape is a civil case remember the marital rape is a civil case in india and it is not a criminal case so now we must criminalize this that is the issue over here how we can do that and what are all the issues over there and also if you are considering marital rape there is a big issue of proof who will be standing as a proof and also the burden of proof st proof also stands as an issue and next general neutrality we are discussing marital rape only the perspective of the woman but now we also think of uh, we also need to think of about the situation of the men also and also what is the impact of marital rape on the day-to-day -day life children and also family life and also women these are all the things we will be discussing and next central government stand what is the central government saying about this marital rape and also worldwide conditions what is the conditions of the marital rape in the world and also overall disc uh, whatever we had discussed over here summary will be provided in this video these are all the things we will be discussing in detail and have a summary now let me take you to the issue over here hc has a split verdict where two judge bench has decided a split verdict means one says yes and other says to no so here stand will be happening why after stand has been what will be happening in future it means that it will be referred to the other which means a next panel of having higher number of judges or it can be referred to the supreme court this is the thing will be happening when a split verdict happens okay today's article will be discussing all the sections of marital rape laws and arguments favoring and against and the impact of the marital rape okay now at we shall see the evolution of the 375 uh, section in the ipc indian penal code defines the constitutional rape by a man see here constitute rape by a man itself so here this itself uh, stands as a controversy by the many uh, men rights groups organization also fighting for that and also it had ex exempted this section 375 of two sections first thing is decriminalizing 
marital rape which means if it is happening between the husband and wife this cannot be considered under the section 375 so 375 have an two exemptions mainly one is husband and wife and also other thing is that a medical procedures for the medical procedures and interventions shall not be constituted as a rape so if you are consulting doctor for something like ivf and any other things that cannot be considered as the rape that are the two exceptions provided over here ipc was initially started by british colonial rule in 1860s itself actually first version of the marital rape exemption was applicable to women 10 years of age see here initially first marital rape was exemption for the girls who are less than 10 years means they can be considered as a rape and if they are more than 10 years let me explain in detail after marriage if a woman is no we can cannot even consider them as a woman if a girl is 10 years greater than 10 years it is not considered as the rape that was in marriage i'm saying but after that in 1940 the age limit was risen to 15 years which means after 15 years of if any was person is married and if he is married and more than 15 years girl she is not considered as the rape okay it comes under the marital rape and also after 2017 judgment it has been provided that 18 years and above which means uh, after marriage 18 years above girl can be considered as the marital rape okay so it cannot be considered as a normal rape or criminal procedure cannot be taken into course this is the definitions and evolution of the so-called marital rape in indian scenario and court judgments historical of history of um, we shall see the history of marital rape actually domestic violence act 2005 has hints marital rape of any form of sexual abuse which means any form of se sexual abuse in living relationship or marriage relationship can be considered as the under the domestic violence act 2005 however there is a civil remedies for that if some marital rape has been happened it is considered as a civil case it cannot be initiated as a criminal proceeding in the future and also there is law commission has exempted marital rape from the so called and which means uh, say it cannot be considered as a sexual violence or also cannot be considered as a criminal case it also been exempted in the law commission's report and also recent times we can see what are all the issues with marital rape first and foremost thing is legal provisions inconsistency in legal provisions means see here actually men and women of married means they have right to have intercourse and they will be a mutual that also must be happening in a mutual phase and it can also be used as a against which means uh, against the husband something if they are fighting for both is that they can easily file a case there will be no proof of uh, uh, proof for what had happened over only two members will be uh, present over there so that stands as an issue over there and also section 375 uh, exception of the section 375 and also other provisions of sexual exploitations like sexual harassment 354a section 354b and voyeurism section 354b and 3c and 354d everything has been exempted for the so-called marital rape and also sexual intercourse by her husband you upon by his wife during separation 376b and also unnatural offenses section 370, uh, 377 are charged on the husband see here 375 is exempted but 376b and 377 section 377 are being applied on the husband and also in this patriarchy society there is a inequality persisting all over the uh, society and also there is a same patriarchal belief the doctrine of can, uh, coverture where a man has a power superiority so that uh, after marriage women must personally and sexually must uh, provide their or uh, submit their bodily integrity to the human dignity to the men that was the patriarchal belief continuously forwarding to the altogether the ages and also here this criminalizing marital rape has been a all-time issue for more uh, time span and also there is a uh, issues has been risen and also it has been continuously in a tussle of uh, decisions and here there is a uh, legal fiction where even if a requirement of a rape or otherwise fulfilled the law deems not to be raped if the parties are married see here there is a special provisions uh, guys uh, let me say that also here any uh, towards a um, woman see here any derogatory words are discriminatory and also harmful things this cannot be considered as a rape or sexual offenses against a woman for example if a marriage is gonna happen see here if a marriage is gonna happen if a, a sexual assault takes place five minutes before the marriage 
is formalized it is a rape but after five minutes same phenomenon happens it is not a rape simple thing you can see here if marriage is it 11 am if a person is uh, raping a woman before that five minutes then it is considered as a criminal case and after marriage 11 am uh, after five minutes after five minutes if he does the same crime but it is considered as the civil so the crime is same but the bonding has here what had happened this so called uh, marriage institutions is making them free will for the men that is the situation over here that is the issue they have been raising continuously and also asking for the favor of the woman and next and also sexual assault will be uh, rape in a committed within the context of living relationship also living relationship also it is the will of both so here legally improvised these things can also be cannot be considered under section 375 and also there is an exception also here married woman guarantees that law offers to all others here there is an exemption for the marriage woman of the article 3 section 375 that is a major issue over there and next here you can see how this criminalizing martial law uh, here why this march marital rape cannot be criminalized what is the issue over there here misuse of law which means if you are criminalizing marital rape all the women will go to court and simply complete uh, complaint against the husband and also there are many other issues which means emotional personal and also illegal relationship everything can create and also provide an opportunity to misuse this law that is the thing and also here there is a statistics of a misuse of the uh, section 498a which is called as a dowry cases which is a, a dowry related law and also here you can see that many cases has been raised okay see here, here there are one lakh five one lakh eleven thousand five forty nine cases has been reported on 498 dowry cases in 2020 in that 5520 police itself said that false and uh, wrong accusation and also there are 16,000 cases again had been proved by the police that this is mistakenly by fact which means there are no proofs there is no fact for the complaint and again in the if it goes to court also only a few cases has been convicted 3428 the remaining and also has been acquitted and also here it also provides that there is a pendency of 96.2 percentage of cases under section 498 which means dowry cases obviously here you can see that a data is provided there is a more misuse of data misuse of information misuse of law so if this is also been criminalized then it will be a major misuse of the law against the men that is the argument has been proceeding over and also here burden of proof we cannot say how who who will be standing as a proof for the marital rape that stands as a major issue and next gender neutrality here rape means they are mentioning that only men why it should be men it, is, it should be a gender neutral that is the case that has been uh, arising in issue okay and next you can see here impact of marital rape so why we must take action against this marital rape what is the impact on the personal life of the children and woman see here if a woman is facing the uh, worst forms of sexual abuse she will be affected mentally and emotionally depression she will be facing anxiety and also she will be towards a suicidal tendency and it will be affecting the children's and mental health of the children's of them and it will be a greater uh, a loss to the mother and also the children's and also there will not be a proper care from the mother to the children's these are all the factors that will be greatly affecting and also this woman will be most vulnerable population in this society because of this uh, carelessness and next you can say that central government stand here central government said that we will be expanding the law and also we will be reviewing the law and also we will get wider deliberation wider thoughts about the issue and how is martial law marital sorry not martial law that's my mistake how is marital rape treated around the world if you are considering a worldwide amnesty international data provides that out of 185 countries 77 countries has criminalized the marital rape and legislation has been provided 42 percentage of the countries has completely criminalized marital rape so you cannot go against the consent of your wife without the consent of your wife you cannot even touch her that is the condition and also australia canada south africa one after the other has act, enacted laws to criminalize the marital rape and in many countries there is mentioning of the uh, and also there are countries there is not even mentioning of the 
marital condition in the rape laws and if you are considering united nations uh, countries uh, united nation it is said that you need to make law and also you need to uh, create a uh, best law so that you can overcome the legal loopholes over it and also it is the most important for the uh, countries to make a decision and makes the country safe for the woman even after marriage if a woman is exploited this it is against the law and it is a problem creating phenomena and here if you are coming to the summary as, as i actually said said earlier this exception 2 of the 375 has been uh, had a split judgment which means a both had taken a single decision which means oh here you can see over here one judge had said that it is exempted and other judge had said that no it is not exempted this has been a major issue discussed between the here you can see the stalemate that has been approached by the two judges and next we can see here after the verdict it will be referred to the any major bench or it will be referred to the supreme court that is what gonna happen we shall wait and see and what will be the result after this judgment you can look over for it now you would have understood what is the situation international scenario national scenario and what are all the issues related to that okay thank you thanks for watching this is me spo signing off have a nice day bye bye take care